Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, as you can tell, I am traveling this week. And as you can tell from the description below, you know where I am. Uh, tonight, I say tonight because it's almost midnight for me <laughs> when I'm filming this, uh, but I am talking about Terrytown, New York. And if you don't know where that is, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you. But before we get started on the town, uh, we're going to talk about the gear. So I had plans to use something completely different tonight, but I am in New York. Uh, granted, I'm not in Manhattan, so I could not make a pastor's run. I know, kind of sucks. But I have a, a good friend that's also a co-worker that lives in Queens. And she was able to pick something up for me that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'd heard of the Sentinels before. Uh, I asked Douglas about it. And he said it is um, coffee and tobacco. Now, I don't drink coffee. I don't smoke tobacco. But I do enjoy their scents. And the soap, of course, if you've seen the thumbnail, is... I'm not sure if this is Pastor's Pharmacy or Planet Pastor's. Because I've heard it rec named or referred to as both. Uh, but it does just say Pastor Pharmacy on here. So, we're going to call it Pastor Pharmacy. And this is an absolutely beautiful scent. It, it's kind of spicy. Reminds me a little bit of, the, of Will of the Wisp. Um, my wife may or may not like it. I don't know. I'll find out this weekend. But, standard CK6. So, you can see I've already scooped some out. Uh, beautiful, beautiful scent on this. Oh, just freaking awesome. Uh, I did whip that up in my very first travel bowl that I ever got, or lather bowl. I was going to use my bore nut, or my bore brush tonight, but as I mentioned, I had a completely different shave planned. Then my coworker showed up, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have this tonight or not, because I know she was coming in today. Uh, so, I am using my standard travel brush and my Craving Shaving Chop Shop travel brush, um, the Twizix Milder or not. And again, I was going to use a completely different razor, but I figured, hey, I'm using the Duro Knot, which was available from PAA until the Duro Knot was discontinued. I'm using Password's Pharmacy soaps. Might as well go for the Starling. It'll make it as PAA centered as possible because why the heck not? When in New York, you shave with products from Phoenix. Well, Casa Grande. Because, you know, why the heck not? And if you've seen any of the videos that I've used CK6, uh, you guys will know that I love CK6. It's just, it's a great base. And heck, it's, it's one of my top three bases. Okay, off the puck, if it smells a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more spice to it. But when it's lathered up, you really get that coffee scent. You get a little bit more of the tobacco off the puck when it's dry and then lathered and, up and applying it, you get more of that coffee scent to it, uh, which if you're like me and shave at night, uh, may or may not be a good thing. <laughs> we shall see. I slept like crap yesterday, so hopefully tonight will be much better. Now this, I apologize before because I do have to run water. While this sink does hold water, it still leaks. So it's just easier, or it doesn't, it doesn't leak, it drains. So it's just easier to shave and rinse off with running water. Now the town of Terry Town, and I do say town, I think it may be even technically a village. Uh, in their town, cities, whatever, a little different out here than what I'm used to. Uh, it is located 25 miles north of Midtown or Manhattan. When you think of Manhattan, Password's Pharmacy, uh, Times Square, Grand Central Terminal, Empire State Building, that's Midtown. Uh, so we're 25 miles north of Midtown, Manhattan. And the town or village of Sleepy Hollow is just north of here. 
If you don't know what Sleepy Hollow is, go read a book. Seriously. They made a cartoon out of it in like the 70s or whatever it was, but go read a book. Uh, it was first settled in 1645 by European settlers, uh, by Dutch settlers who mostly were uh, fishermen, because we're right off the Hudson or real close to it, um, fur traders, and farmers. Uh, during the Revolutionary War, John Andre was arrested here. His arrest is what led to the discovery that Benedict Arnold was a traitor. And if you're in the U.S. and you haven't heard that name before, and you take American history, go hit the books. Because everyone should know who the hell Benedict Arnold is. Or at least know the name Benedict Arnold and associate as a traitor. I mean, honestly. If you're an American and you don't know that, go ahead, go study. Uh, let's see, what else? So it was also described in Legend Sleepy Hollow. Uh, even though the town right to the north of here is Sleepy Hollow, I think that was named, renamed after the book was, or the story was uh, published. Could have used a little bit more water. Slick, but still could use some more. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it was described in Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And there's this huge whole thing that describes the town in its proximity to the hut and everything else uh, that I'm not going to read. Because, go read a book. Or, uh, you know, you can look it up on Wikipedia, Terrytown, New York, and get the information there as well. Stay. Uh, let's see. It is the headquarters of Bayer Healthcare. North American headquarters for Hitachi of America. And the Hitachi Medical Group of America, North America as well as Siemens Medical Solutions Diagnostic. So Siemens is a German company, but they have, they're all over the world. They're huge medical devices, cell phones. Siemens has their hands in everything. <laughs> so they're everywhere. I guess I let them. Didn't quite get this wet enough, I haven't used I have UCK6 recently, but different water here. It's like my second night in this hotel. I used a bore brush last night, so completely different using this. Alright, that's looking better. Sounding better too. I've actually done this for the first pass, but oh well. Man, this scent is amazing. And for me, coffee scents are kind of hit or miss. Uh, I smelled Leviathan from Barrister and Nan when I was up at uh, Maggard's. When was I Maggard's? December? Yeah. Uh, didn't care for the scent. The first time I, I smelled it, it was very off-putting. If I'm being 100% honest, I didn't care for Leviathan. Didn't, didn't like it at all. And that's tobacco or uh, coffee and leather and, and some other scent notes. But it's just, the combination didn't do it for me. This one is just, it's really, really good. And of course, that residual slickness. And that's. Yep, that's slick.
I mean, I've also in one of my last videos, if you haven't tried CK6, try CK6. It is a fantastic formula. And it's vegan if that's, you know, a thing that you care about. It is pretty thirsty. It can take a lot of water. A lot of water. Mm. Now, as far as notable people, uh, I mean, there's a decent list. I didn't recognize a good portion of them. So I just pulled out three that I recognized. Uh, that is, let me make sure this right, Eric Gaffney, formerly of the band Sebado. Former Olympic athlete, Caitlyn Jenner. And Mark Twain. Mm. Man, this set is awesome. I really wish I could uh, order the matching splash. But as it is, I'm flying home, and I don't want to risk that breaking in my suitcase. Because the airline has already mangled my suitcase a couple times, and the second trip out after buying a, a new one, they destroyed my suitcase. I mean, frame and all completely broken. So... I had to get that repaired. And I say repaired, not replaced, because of the suitcase that I have. Uh, when you travel as much as I do, I went with, I followed my dad's advice. He's traveled for many, many years for work. And I went with a nice high-end suitcase that has a lifetime warranty on it. And then I just upgraded to a newer version that was lighter weight, and this is like my second or third trip with it. And the airline just mangled it. Um, so, I mean, they, they got fixed. It looks brand new. Uh, got here this trip, and the zipper, like just the handle for the zipper, ripped right off. The zipper still works. There's just no handle. So I'm going to get that fixed at some point. Uh, let's see. Also, as far as airports, um, there is a, an airport in Westchester. I believe that's where it's located. A small regional airport, and I mean small. Uh, we flew. I flew in here last year when I came here. Uh, it's not bad, but because of the weather in the winter months of New York. Specifically in January, February, where it gets really could potentially gets really bad and snow and everything else, I decided to fly into a major airport. And since it is so close to Manhattan, you could fly into LaGuardia, JFK, or Newark. Uh, I flew into Newark. A coworker came and picked me up at the airport, and we drove up, and it wasn't actually that bad of traffic. Even on a Monday, kind of somewhere during rush hour, it wasn't bad to get up here. In the hotel we're at this week, I'm here for a company meeting slash holiday party, because the company for which I work is based on Long Island. So 
So the town, or the hotel they have us in, is really nice. Uh, it's a bunch of old, it looks like, um, mansions that are kind of put together and pieced together into a hotel. Uh, sounds kind of odd, but, and you'll be walking along one floor, you'll be in this building, you go to this other building, and it's like floor three of here, and then you're on floor two of this other building. Uh, really weird, really interesting to get around. But the rooms have been updated, it's nice and modern. Although because it is an older building, the walls are slightly thin. So last night I was trying to go to sleep and an individual, I don't know if it was above, below, to the side of my room, was snoring to the point that I could hear them in my room. And it was bad enough that I had to pull out my tablet and turn on some music to try to cancel out that noise. The hotel is, is really nice. The grounds are beautiful. Uh, there is, if you like to work out, this has a great gym, especially for a hotel. Uh, there's a racquetball, not racquet, yeah, there's a racquetball court. Uh, they have an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. There is a sauna that is currently under renovation. A really good gym. Let's see what else is there. Tons of meeting space if you need a meeting and you're in the New York area. And the rates are pretty dang reasonable too from what I understand. I mean, it's billed right from the company, so I don't know what the rates are. But uh, everyone's saying it's about the same as a normal hotel in this area, which it's New York, it's expensive. Just a little clean up here. And I had the ladder, so you know, might as well use it. But the hotel is the Terrytown House, something like that. Great, great hotel. Um, I mean, other than the really thin walls, that's kind of a downer. I think this blade's finally giving up the ghost. I have no idea how many shoes I have on this blade. Yeah, there we go, something like that. Yeah. Ooh, love me some CK6. And this scent is so, so good. To the point where if you like tobacco or coffee scents and you have someone that's in the New York area, I can get this soap for you. And knowing Douglas, there's after she had a splash. I can get it and ship it to you reasonably. Do it. It's, it's great. Uh, I mean, for me, I wouldn't quite put it on the level of like Kapali or Black Amber Vanilla, uh, but it is, oh man, that looks so good. It's up there. I don't have many coffee, well this is my only coffee scented soap. Uh, I have a couple that are tobacco. Uh, mostly Blackbeard from WSP. I have a sample of that. Uh, cherry Tobacco from Vanulay. And this is slick. And a couple other ones on there. It's just the, the blending of the scents of the tobacco and the coffee is just really good.
coffee really comes out once it's lathered. You get more of the tobacco and the spice when it's on the puck. Mm. And I could do this all day. I just, I love the scent. But I'm going to stop chasing the dragon. And cut like good. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this has been an absolutely beautiful shave. <clears throat> that scent is just killer, seriously. <clears throat> and as you can see, I, I mean, you saw what was in here. I didn't scoop out a whole lot. And I still had plenty of leather left. Plenty of leather in the knot. I could do a head shave, but I shaved my head yesterday. And I generally only shave the head every other day just to let this grow and get a little closer. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, quick recap, the razor of the evening was my PAA Starling with the safety bar, purple base plate, Gen PTFE blade, no idea how many uses on it, I've lost count. Whipped up in a little bowl that I picked up from, shoot, where was that? Uh, a hardware store in, Illinois, I think. Something like that. Um, using my craving shaving upside down coin, chop chop trouble brush with the 26 mil or not. And the star of the show was the Pastor Pharmacy shave soap from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Sorry, it is late. It is past midnight. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Uh, but absolutely beautiful coffee, tobacco, scented soap in the CK6 formula. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. <clears throat> absolutely love this scent. And as you can see, there's the Pest First Pharmacy bag. So anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in, and I hope to catch you guys in another shave next week.